Russia will be a bit better off than other countries because of its experience, because of sanctions and because of reserves. When the virus threat passes, it's possible things will come back to life faster in Russia than in other countries, because there won't be the negative drag of debt. How, oh how, are there so few infected in Russia? Why hasn't the pandemic hit Russia harder? Why aren't there more infected? And that is a question you hear more and more often in the Western press. Pundits asking almost bitterly with disappointment. The how is relatively simple. It's action. While CNN and others were busy bashing Trump for his racist policies and restricting air travel with China, Russia shuttered its entire border thousands and thousands of kilometers without ceremony. No frills. While Western leaders, politicians were busy soothing their business leaders and corporate bosses, Russia established quarantine. Anyone arriving in the country was self-isolated at home. And talk about tests. Russia has conducted 156,000 coronavirus tests. The United States, up until March, conducted just 4,000. Instead, they have grasped at straws, citing fringe opposition and conspiracy theories that allege a widespread cover-up, more of Putin's machinations, that Putin is hiding the true infection rate. Well, even the World Health Organization has denied these rumors. I am 99.99% .99 sure that there are no hidden cases. I don't think that uh, we could see some cases where people have not come forward because they didn't want to go into self-isolation, but breaking through the network that was to catch uh, and understand and advise such cases was really good. While Russia has been fortunate so far, few expect the pandemic to completely pass Russia by. Hospitals and clinics are increasingly being prepared to receive the infected, to work in quarantine mode. About 60,000 people in Russia are either under quarantine, self-isolation or under medical observation. For the moment, the uh, surveillance is so well done, including in the uh, community acquired pneumonias, which are of other causes, which are all tested for corona, that uh, I think we would see it. Also, if we would have uh, severe cases of corona, uh, and we would have it because of the demographic structure in Russia, we would see an increase, a sharp increase in that. And finally, I can tell you, I have informally asked a huge, uh, I would say, network of people I know in Russia, asking them, do you know or do you know someone who knows someone who is in hospital for pneumonia or who has lost someone? And I couldn't find a single person who answered positive to that. Who could have predicted that the sanctions intended to bow and cripple Russia would save it, cushion it in these times of worldwide economic recession? See, the point of those sanctions was to deprive Russia of this of dollars and euros, loans and financing for the central bank, the government, oil companies and businesses. So what Russia did was switch to this, to rubles. Now foreign debt is at a record low. Russia produces almost everything it eats, 90% of what it eats Russian agriculture produces. For its other needs it turned to China. Now, Russia is set up to weather this storm with a half trillion dollar fund that it set up just in case. Now is that case. Russia will be a bit better off than other countries because of its experience, because of sanctions and because of reserves. When the virus threat passes, it's possible things will come back to life faster in Russia than in other countries, because there won't be the negative drag of debt. The end result has been the shelves at supermarkets and shops are still packed with everything you could ever want. While there has been something of a, of a run on supermarkets and shops and hoarding, well, they still sell toilet paper and plenty of it.